Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. Today is Thursday, April 22nd. I just want to check if the background is tidy because behind the bed is a mess. I've just prepped the bedroom so I can start vlogging, but the apartment is a little bit of a mess right now. We lost control over the week. As you probably noticed, if you watch my vlogs regularly and my videos regularly, I've been away since two weeks, I think, or I don't even know, um, a little while. I've taken a break because, not really intentionally, I didn't really plan to take a break or anything. I just wasn't in a great mindset to film for a couple of reasons, nothing major, just mainly um, Ontario announcing another lockdown and we had some plans to go back to Montreal so I could see my sister and it's just it keeps getting pushed and pushed and you know I really miss my family as a lot of you guys can probably relate to and it just wasn't great I just wasn't I was really in a bad mood and I've been in a bad mood for a couple weeks now. It's just every day I think it's going to be better and I'm not really putting any pressure on myself to feel better right away because I know it's just a difficult time right now but you know when you're not feeling great having the camera and having to speak to a camera I know that you guys are watching but just having to film yourself without anybody to talk to really is really hard for me so thank you so much for being patient and for not really asking where I was or anything and for leaving me that space to kind of take a little break I even wasn't on Instagram that much it was really this whole thing was really bringing me down and having the pressure of having to pose and also carry on like nothing's happening was felt really unnatural and and I didn't want to be on camera if I wasn't feeling great because then the content that I would be putting out wouldn't be the best it can be not that vlogs are always the best they can be they're pretty raw and natural but I just wasn't happy with anything I filmed as normal i filmed two vlogs that i edited and didn't uh, post yeah i was just really not happy with the footage i had and it made me feel even worse actually so yeah i felt like i needed to explain that to you i'm feeling a little bit better things are picking up a little bit more and even though it's really hard to plan things i find that trying to plan things that can be cancelled if, if you know things happen like another lockdown but I find that just planning things regardless helps me to look forward and kind of be more motivated so we still plan to go back to Montreal once this lockdown is over and even if there's another lockdown we're gonna you know postpone it but just the idea of having something to look forward to is even if it's a little bit of a fictional event really helps me so I'm feeling a little bit better um, I'm trying to focus on different things and yeah let's move on I really love you guys for supporting anyways and and still watching my videos even if there's a little gap sometimes but bear with me on another note I wanted to start the vlog right now because I got myself ready and I wanted to show you what I was wearing I received some really nice pieces from Bohm, a Scandinavian brand I've been collaborating with for a little while now and they sent me some lovely pieces from their pre-fall collection and I wanted to show them to you because they're spring, they scream positivity, optimism, so um, let's talk about them. <laughs> so first is this dress it's a cotton dress with this really nice print and it's a maxi length i'm just going to show it to you full length later but i paired it with this what is the brand of this i think it's walford bodysuit underneath just a really tight black basic bodysuit it's muck neck because it's quite cold outside 
and my Prada headband and let me show you the full look. So it's really wide. It has a sort of um, belt that you can put with it but I haven't put it. It's got pockets. It's about this length. I think it's meant to be a little shorter than this but I'm really short. I'm 5'1 so yeah it's really maxi on me and I paired it with my Prada loafers and some black socks. I thought the look together was pretty cute. I thought it was a nice way to wear this even though it's quite cold out. I think it's a nice layering. Let me get the belt so you get an idea of what it looks like. It's just a belt like this in the same fabric as the dress and I personally, you can tie it right here. I just don't think this is super flattering with my height. I like to do it a little higher to do a kind of baby doll shape, which I prefer. So just like that. It's pretty cute too. It's very kind of prairie style, but if you want something that's a little bit more form fitting, you can do that too. I love these dresses for the summer because they're so comfortable and they're so big and wide. You know, you go to a park, you can sit down and you can cover your legs and you're just really comfortable in any situation. You go to the beach and it's a great like lightweight dry fast kind of dress if you have like a bikini that's wet underneath or anything and yeah I just love these huge dresses I think they're super convenient and I don't usually wear pink but I thought you know what I'm just gonna try it out and in the end I really like it so yeah I don't really know what this vlog is gonna look like just because we're staying home most of the time and we are not doing much but i'm gonna pick up my camera if anything interesting happens so it might be that i'm just filming one clip a day and it might be a little bit scattered but bear with me early it's not even seven o'clock and we just came to look at the cherry blossom blooms they're not completely bloomed yet but um, yeah we just wanted to come super super early so that there's nobody and there's literally no one we're alone excuse my the state of my face I we woke up put as much clothes as we could on because it's it's quite cold and we got outside just to get a look at the trees and now we're just gonna finish our walk around the park I'm wondering if the swans are out I always love to look at the swans so yeah we're just gonna finish our walk and go back home and make coffee it's a little bit later I got myself ready it's almost noon and I got myself ready because I'm going out to get lunch, get a sandwich, take out of course. At Cote de Boeuf I was really craving a baguette sandwich so this is what I'm going to do. But before I'm leaving I'm just going to show you quickly my outfit. I've put the mirror here because it's too messy <laughs> in the rest of the apartment. So if you see some mess in the background I still haven't gotten around to clean the place. I'm quite lazy. <laughs> But let's talk about my look. I'm wearing Dylan's vintage Nike sweatshirt with a Uniqlo t-shirt that I featured in my most worn pieces. I just always have one on. And then I have this vintage uh, plaid skirt that I really like. It reminds me of um, the Gucci colors. That's why I like it so much. And then I have some knee-high socks with my Prada creepers 
just a very casual look it's really nice out it's about 16 degrees so i might just put on some sunglasses and maybe like a light jacket but let's see finished look is versace sunglasses this uniqlo perfect vest on top of everything to make it a little bit warmer but still comfortable just back from lunch got myself a coffee on the way and i came back home to some exciting deliveries from the team at chanel so i thought i would open them with you in case you were interested in seeing what i got from them so let's see this year was the 100th anniversary of chanel number no. five so i think this first package is for that for the celebration so obviously it comes with <clears throat> an explanation of everything which i'm going to read a little bit later but for the purpose of showing you i'm just going to show you what's inside oh pretty so we've got a series of books which I think I'm going to open later but they look really lovely probably on the history of the fragrance and everything such a great coffee table book that's my favorite 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 fragrance and I think that's why they sent it to me because the team the beauty team at Chanel knows how much I love my Chanel number five <laughs> it's just my favorite one and it's my everyday fragrance and the fragrance that I think really represents me the most. So I'm really excited to dig into this and to read more about it. There is also a, oh my God, this is a mini size or a small size of number five, I'm assuming. Such a cute box. Oh my god, this is so cute! It's so small! I have one that's even smaller than that, if I can find it, because um, it's somewhere in my in my drawers. I'm going to show it to you. It's just a size smaller than this, but here's the little perfume that they sent. And this really, really cute little box. Thank you so much to the team at Chanel Beauty. I love you guys so much and then from the apparel and accessory side I got to choose a pair of sunglasses from the summer 2021 um, collection which is amazing I'm so lucky and I'm so excited to see what they look like. They come in this box with, with a leather case like this. And it's all quilted at the back. Really nice. And let's see those beauties. Oh wow. They're so pretty. They are round sunglasses with the Chanel logo on the side. I'm not sure if it's focusing on it, but you'll see it once I try them on. Excited to try them on. Hopefully they'll suit my face. Usually round sunglasses suit me pretty well. What do you guys think? These are so cute. I love them they're so small too i have a really small face and sometimes sunglasses um are really really big on me like these are meant to be quite narrow and quite small and on me they're just like so much bigger than other people i see online i'm like are these the same but yeah um i have a very small face so that's why i chose these i thought these are just gonna be perfect and they are perfect they're so snug and you know it might seem crazy but when i try on sunglasses i always try to move around and see if they're sliding on my nose or anything so yeah 
Here's a close up. Thank you so, so much to the team at Chanel. It's such a great thing to come back to. Obviously, I'm so lucky. But yeah, I thought you might want to see that. And now Dylan came back from work. He still is working um, the whole afternoon, but from home. So that's nice. I like him to be around. And yeah, I don't, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I'm, I, we don't even have plans for dinner. Maybe we're going to order some takeout because it's Friday. And yeah, I'll let you know if anything else interesting happens we decided to get some takeout in the end and Dylan is just sitting outside in the backyard and we're gonna eat outside because it's so nice it's about like 18 degrees and I completely forgot to get my camera out to film the food so I ran upstairs to you to get my camera and show you our dinner. We got some Iminishi kitchen. I got a pork katsu bento box. We've got white wine and Dylan's got some is that eel? Mm. Barbecue eel? Nice. Extra potato, extra fried chicken, and yeah, that's our little dinner. Good morning guys, it's Saturday and it's about 10.30. We just came downtown to shoot my Chanel sunglasses and I think I got the shot, I'm really happy. I love how they look, very retro but like minimal and very chic. So I style them with a red lip, a black oversized vintage blazer, little black dress, mini dress, and then my clasp handbag. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Now we're just gonna get some coffee. I'm craving an iced latte because it's such a nice day today. And yeah, I just wanted to kickstart this vlog. Dylan's look is really nice too show you later <laughs> i'll show you our footwear it's a pretty strong footwear game today so i'm wearing my prada creepers and dylan's wearing his margella tabby boots two of us are kind of overdressed for a saturday <laughs> stroll but we don't get to dress up anymore gonna be all that's okay. Oh, it's better. Mm -hmm. really good. We've got our copies. Mmm. Mmm. This is really good, yeah. Matchy matchy. With my lips. Okay. And my nails. I decided to do short red nails to shoot with the sunglasses. I thought it would look kind of graphic and retro. The skin looks really blue in the shade. Put me in the sun. <laughs> so we're going back home. I'm gonna change and then I think we're gonna go somewhere to get lunch. We just came back home and I got changed because I was a little bit too dressed up for the rest of the day. And on our way back home, we bought some herbs to plant because we like to have some herbs in the summer. So I'm just gonna show you what we got. We've got three little basket of basil, then we've got some rosemary, some tarragon, and two different types of mint for cocktail. So we're just gonna plant these and put them next to the window so that they're in the sun and they grow nice and tall. 
Hey guys, it's almost seven o'clock. It's a lot later. I had a bath. We also had a little power nap this afternoon because we were outside a lot today and we felt really exhausted from it, from the sun and I don't know, just from being outside all day. We went to the grocery store and now we're back. We're having some mojitos that Dylan made. And today we went to a little bodega and they had a bunch of hot sauce. So we bought a couple of hot sauce. This one is a green um, habanero hot sauce. Then we got this one because it looked really fresh and zesty. This one is lemon chili sauce. So this one goes really well with seafood and fish. So tonight we're going to make fish tacos and we're going to have that with it. And then Dylan wanted to try that one, which is the XXX extra hot sauce. He tried only like a little bit on his finger and it's really hot, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty good though. Tastes me. It smells good. But yeah, we're just going to enjoy our cocktails, have some really nice fish tacos and maybe watch Netflix after. The sun isn't out anymore and tomorrow I guess we're going to plant all of our herbs. We didn't find some um, soil so we need to get that and maybe a couple pots and that's it. Good morning guys. It is a rainy Sunday. I think it's supposed to clear up today but for now it's raining. Um, what time is it? It's 8 a.m. and Dylan just went to the grocery store to get some milk and what else is he getting? Some coffee filters. <laughs> I want some pancakes this morning because Dylan makes the best fluffy pancakes so he's going to get some milk for the pancakes and then, sorry if you can hear the cars in the street, and then we're going to have a pancake um, breakfast. I love to have pancakes on Sunday, especially when it's not nice out. It's kind of like a nice, comforting breakfast. So yeah, um, I'm just going to start preparing the coffee for when he comes back. And then that's it. I just wanted to start the vlog this morning and chat with you, let you know what's happening. <sighs> that's it. and I just wanted to show you the second look that I got uh, from Bohm that they kindly sent me. It's really cute. It's like a hybrid between a pajama and something you can wear out, but I'm gonna shoot it at the beach today and because it's raining, I have a rain hat with me and some rain boots. So let me just show you the look. So it's this stripe kind of two different type of stripe patchwork shirt with some really cool um, oversized sleeves and an oversized pocket and then you've got the pants they've got an elastic waistband very comfortable and they are also patchwork so different color at the back and they have a contrast pocket that's the opposite of the shirt and I thought it looked cute with my Celine boots like that and tucked in and then I have this rains hat because it's raining outside and I thought flip like this would look cute for some photos with the string I also like it worn just like this kind of like a, a hood sorry it's hard to show you in this mirror because 
the wall is so crooked that these mirrors are um, they can't be really flat but yeah here's the look that I'm gonna shoot we're gonna go to the beach I think so that we have a nice background and hopefully the photos will turn out great sure we got the shots and the sun came out so it's really nice the water is quite calm and it's not too windy so we're just gonna stay here a little bit and take advantage of the sun coming out and yeah Dylan's just throwing some rocks <laughs> what a nice day in the end Show you sandwich uh, the vlog. Look at that. <laughs> and it was a little too much for me, so I got myself a found me, which looks <laughs> a lot bigger than your sandwich mm -hmm. actually. But yeah, we're just having lunch in the car. And is there a lot of choices? Mm hmm Looks really you good. Get anything you want. Really? So Dylan got his sandwich at La Salumeria. looks really good and I got my bao mi at Rose's Vietnamese sandwich and it's just a tofu lemongrass tofu bao mi my favorite second that Put mustard in it. Mm. Wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. I don't think you're gonna eat only half. I think you're gonna eat all of it. hard to eat. Mm -hmm. mm. The bomb is spicy. Hey guys, it is Monday, Monday afternoon. I just had lunch and I've done some work in the morning answering some emails and I've tried to shoot a couple things but nothing came out 
of it that <laughs> I wasn't productive. Sometimes I just have an idea in my head and then I'm missing a couple of the pieces to make it really great and then I try to do it with what I have and it's just not as great as it is in my head so I get frustrated and yeah I don't want to settle for content I really want to only put out things that I'm really proud of so I decided to just take a break finish my vlog and focus on other things because that didn't really work out the way I wanted but anyways I this morning on my Instagram I've opened it for you guys to chat with me and ask me any question if you had or um, pretty much talk to me about anything which has been so eye-opening I'm really glad I did you guys are just the best <laughs> so supportive and I received so many amazing messages encouraging me to keep going with the vlogs but also um, supporting the fact that it's okay for me to take breaks if I want to and yeah you guys are so sweet and I really have the best community and I can trust you and I know you guys won't put any pressure on me or anything which feels really really good um, I feel really great about this morning and it's just nice to be able to communicate with you and talk to you because well a lot of you comment on these videos which I am so grateful for and even on Instagram a lot of you guys reach out in my DMs and all that and I just want to encourage you to do it more um, don't be shy there's even like a lot of people that say that they see myself or myself and Dylan on the street and I, I would love for you guys to come and say hi because sometime, sometimes this I mean this job can feel very lonely I'm putting content out there and sometimes I don't get a lot of response obviously it's not the engagement isn't always the same it's not stable it's very organic so sometimes I can feel very alone doing this so it's great to hear your thoughts and kind of share um, your perspective on things and yeah overall I'm very very grateful it's been a good day in terms of that and yeah I just wanted to sign off this vlog for now I'm gonna stop saying this might be a short vlog blah 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 who cares I'm just putting a vlog out there and I hope that you guys will enjoy it um, regardless of if it's long or short so that's why I think if something happens during the week that I feel like I want to pick up my camera for it I'm just gonna do it and the vlogs might be a little bit all over the place but I'm sure you guys can follow and at the end it really doesn't matter what day it is because you guys aren't watching it in real time so yeah, I'm just gonna start to pick up my camera more because I know you guys really care about the vlogs and yeah, I don't want to lose my community here on YouTube because I really, really appreciate all of you. So I want to put out content that you guys want to see. So I hope everybody had a great weekend, everybody's had a great Monday and I guess I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.